These curious little monkeys are golden lion tamarins, and at the Smithsonian's National Zoo, animal keeper Kenton Kearns makes sure they have plenty of things to keep them occupied. Ready? Here we go. The hollow bamboo sticks are filled with tasty mealworms. The tamarins first investigate, then use their long slender fingers to pull out the hay and pry out the bugs inside, essentially mimicking what they do in the wild. In the wild, they find a lot of their uh, food through forage uh, and tree holes uh, and pretty much anything. These guys will go after anything. If an insect flies by them, they'll catch them midair. But in captivity, feeding the tamarins involves more than just putting out a bowl of food. It's an integral part of the zoo's animal enrichment program to help keep the monkeys engaged and healthy. This is actually a cooperative behavior because the adults will be the first ones sometimes to pick out the insects or larvae and they will actually share it uh, with the other children. Even if sometimes it's more stealing than sharing. Golden lion tamarins are from the coastal region of Brazil where less than 2% of their habitat remains. Only about 1,500 remain in the wild and another 500 or so live in zoos. Right now, the habitat in Brazil is saturated, so the National Zoo works with the Brazilian government to make sure that they have enough habitat so we can keep introducing and actually expanding the species in their native habitat. That means that any reintroduction efforts are at a standstill, keeping family groups like this one in captivity. Though here at the National Zoo, they do get a taste of the wild thanks to its 25-year-old free-range program. It started as a boot camp for reintroductions into the wild. At this point, because the reintroductions aren't very feasible, um, we've stopped that process, seeing as these guys have gone out four or five years and have not been reintroduced. Now we find it almost as a training program for us. So if they're already outside, why don't they escape? They stay within the National Zoo because they're very territorial. In the wild, they would stay, a family group would stay within a certain range. They have plenty of food, plenty of enrichment, plenty of water, and plenty of space and there's no other Tamron families outside fighting for that space. The family uses different calls and signals to alert each other. One is the alarm for a predator. This summer we had a hawk interaction where the one of the Tamrins dropped from the tree when the hawk got too close. That response is genetically hardwired even into captive-born monkeys. And when it's time for a family meeting, there's something called the long call. It's a call to get everybody moving. So if they're all spread out and dispersed in a couple different trees, the mother will long call and the family will either long call back so they know what the position is and then move from one side. For instance, outside, they'll move from one side of the walk to another. 